Hello and welcome to our podcast. Shane here. And Dylan. We have a question for you. Have you ever wanted to become a well-known and famous artist? I know I have. What about you, Dylan? Yes, but finding inspiration can be tough. Here are some tips on finding inspiration. Well, Becca Dratch says, My art is completely internally driven. It's about my emotions and passions of the moment. I personally think all great art is produced this way, whether it's an abstract landscape or figure. Wow, cool. I know, right? So cool. Have you heard of Leonardo da Vinci? He has some pretty weird ways to find inspiration. Personally, he's my favorite artist. People have found his inspiration diary, and Leonardo da Vinci suggested that you will find inspiration for the mar- for your marvelous ideas if you look for random subjects to conceptually blend with your challenge. He would gaze at the stains of walls or ashes of fire, or the shape of clouds or <coughs> patterns in muds or similar places. Yep, definitely my favorite. Da Vinci would imagine seeing trees, battles, landscapes, figures with lively moments, etc., and excite his mind by conceptually blending the subjects and events he imagined and his subject. Da Vinci would occasionally throw a paint-filled sponge at the wall to contemplate the random stains and what they might represent. Isn't that weird? This reminds me of when I needed inspiration for an art project, and I had a lot of trouble finding it. But eventually, I found inspiration, and my art project was great. Well, this brings us to our second point of what steps you need to take to create amazing art. Tell me about that, Dylan. Sometimes this involves refining your idea by making sketches and tossing out just as many, or playing around with ideas visually. Wow, but isn't that a waste of paper, the tossing out part? Not at all if you're tossing it into the recycling bin. Also, the process of creation can vary depending on your personal temperament, your artistic style, and your medium. You might spend hours, days, or weeks refining the perfect light on realistically painted flower petal and oil. That long? That's crazy! In my opinion, it's totally worth it. I guess you might be right if it's going to make a masterpiece, you know. This reminds me of a time when my sister needed help with her art, and I didn't really want to help her, so I just gave her a step to improve her art. So, what we learned today is even though artists do have a tough time finding inspiration and ways to do it, they have found creative ways that made original masterpieces. On the next episode, we will be talking about famous clothes designers and how they affect our everyday lives. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, bye and have a good day.